Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today I will show you my DIY NFT or nutrient film technique hydroponic system. This is part one of a three part video where I go over all three of my indoor hydroponic systems. Each system includes the DWC or deep water culture, aeroponics and NFT. All parts that I use on my, are on my website, which I link below in the description. I hope you enjoy. The reservoir is made of three seven gallon containers, each connected with half inch tubing to one main reservoir, which contains the pump. This allows me to expand my total reservoir to 21 gallons. I normally fill the containers with 14 gallons of solution, and I only have to fill one container, which fills the other two. The lids of each container are perforated to allow the returning flow to pass through the rag filters and drop into the container. This allows the water to be cleaned and aerated at the same time. Each bucket has a return flow allowing all the water to completely circulate through the entire system. The two on the left have NFT returns and the one on the right is from the aeroponic system. The pump is a Vivosun 1150 GPS submersible pump which sucks from the bottom. Always try to get the most powerful pump you can afford because it allows the pressure in the system to be higher. The pro of this pump is that it not only sucks from the bottom, allowing maximum use of the water, but also shuts off if it runs dry. I've noticed that sometimes water goes into the aeroponic system too much and empties the reservoir. The pump shuts off and allows the water to drain back into the reservoir after a few and after a few minutes it will start again. The con of this pump is that it does not have a filter on it and if I do not use the rag filters then all the nozzles will clog which take forever to fix. I also use another submersible pump that has a filter. I bought this pump first and found that the pressure was too low to supply my whole system. However, it does have a filter on it and I use it to clean and mix the water. It is a 290 gallon per hour pump which is one third as powerful as the other one. However, I wouldn't have as many clogging problems if I bought the bigger version of this pump with the filter. For the tubing of the NFT system, I chose Bootstrap Farmers 10 by 20 grow trays with two inch net cups and matching net cup holders. The net cup Holders allow me to grow up to 32 plants at one time and customize the spacing between the plants. The reflective covering on top prevents light and plant material from getting into the solution. Light causes algae and dead plant matter in the nutrients accelerates bacteria's growth including the ones responsible for root rot. As a plus, the reflective mylar bounces back the light making the grow lights more effective. Ensure all reflective material that you buy is patterned to prevent focusing of light on one spot. I have different holes cut depending on what plants that I am growing. Most of the tubing is from a single kit that I bought online. It comes with everything you need to make your NFT system except for the grommets, elbows, and tees. Grommets allow you to have waterproof penetrations in the grow tray. The best place to get grommets is online in bulk. Home Depot sells individual ones for a dollar and a half but the ones I link below are only 25 cents each. The kit comes with two types of nozzles one for a drip style and one as a sprayer. I used the drip style for my NFT system and I created a separate but linked aeroponics system with the sprayers. I throttle the drip nozzles to keep the pressure in the system high so I can supply each connection with enough water. Connections are often hard to make to the elbows and tees, so you may need to heat the tubing with some fire and stretch out the hole with needle nose pliers. The tubing comes in half inch and quarter inch varieties. Half inch is for your main distribution and return and quarter inch is for your sprayers. I currently use Duralux 4x2 hangable grow lights in two variants. On the top shelf, I use the 100 watt white version for my seedlings and lettuce because they don't need tons of light. On the bottom shelf holds a 200 watt tuned spectrum light with sunlight colored base lights and additional red and blue lights for a more robust spectrum. 
Also hanging is a 360 LED garage light that a friend gave to me to try out. It is 140 watt and has three wings that can be adjusted up and down. It is attached to a lamp that used to be a 7 foot standing light. I removed the poles and base and the shield and left just the hanging part. I hope you enjoyed the show and tell of my NFT system. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.